Zeno's paradox. This is one of my favorite thought experiments. The reason I love it so much is because it shows an incredible fundamental fact about the reality we inhabit that is not immediately obvious. In fact, the jaw-dropping result of the experiment can be notoriously hard to grasp. The experiment goes as followed. Imagine an archer standing some distance away from a tree. He fires an arrow at the tree. Now, freeze time in your head. The arrow should have just left the bow and is comfortably suspended in midair, just in front of the archer. Now, in order for the arrow to reach its target, it has to pass through the space in between itself and the tree. Now, just imagine placing a waypoint marker in the middle of its trajectory, effectively marking its halfway point. Now, imagine you kept dividing the halves into halves, continuously dividing the remaining space in its trajectory in half. It would seem you could do this infinitely, but that doesn't quite follow. If you could infinitely divide the space the arrow had to travel through, effectively causing the arrow to have to travel through an infinite amount of waypoint markers, how would it ever reach the tree? And it's not enough to say that as the distances between the markers approach the infinite, so does the time it takes the arrow to travel in between. That still leaves the arrow having to travel through an infinite amount of waypoints. This clearly makes no sense. It seems to me that the solution to resolving the paradox, however startling, is deceptively simple. This simple experiment shows that you simply can't divide space infinitely. It shows that, at heart, even space itself must be made out of indivisible units of space. Otherwise, the Archer's Paradox would hold true, and nothing would ever make it to anywhere. So to recap the resolve, the paradox supposes that the distance between any two points can be halved infinitely, making movement between any two points seem impossible. But since we know movement between two points is possible, it seems the only logical conclusion is that space-time is not infinitely divisible. You cannot infinitely divide sections of space-time. At a certain point, you will indeed, however strange, reach indivisible units of space-time, units you can't divide with another halfway point. In essence, the number of times you can divide space-time between any two given points is finite. The time the arrow takes to travel between waypoints drops proportional to the distance between the waypoints. As space reaches some finite minimum quantity, so does time, and the paradox is resolved. My name is Jack Ocean. Thank you for listening.